You can make bourbon anywhere in the United States, but you know, they say if you want to sell it, it needs to be made in Kentucky. I would estimate that most Kentucky bourbon goes into what we call Kentucky barrel. The wood has been seasoned for three to six months prior to construction of the barrel. If you don't have good seasoning on the wood, it ends up in the whiskey, and so you have to age it out eight, 10, 12 years. You know, what makes Kentucky such a great place to make bourbon whiskey? And a lot of that comes back to the climate. You know, we have really high humidity here on average. We have four very distinctive seasons, so it's very hot in the summer, it's cool in the, in the winter time. You know, it expands in the summer and pushes into the wood, and in the, in the winter time it, it retracts and comes back out of the wood. So that expansion and contraction facilitates extraction of color from the barrel, from the chemicals from the barrel. The fluctuation in temperatures also will cause chemical reactions to progress at different rates. So when it's really hot, chemical reactions occur faster. So we've got that slowing up and speeding down of, you could say the barrel metabolism. It's not living and breathing, but there are chemical reactions that are occurring over time. Again, you've got extraction of chemicals from the barrel. You've got esterification reactions occurring over time. You're getting, you know, single note strawberry and fruity notes start becoming floral notes and more like pineapple, very complex. And that's through those high level esterification reactions that are occurring. A third component is evaporative loss. And so that's something that people who, you know, hey, I can make bourbon anywhere in the United States, but if I make it in South Texas, I may not have one drop of anything left in the barrel. Here in Kentucky, having higher humidity, that mitigates a lot of that evaporative loss. The evaporation of whiskey, which occurs at a rate for us about two to three percent per year, with some exceptions, depending on where they're placed in the barrel warehouse, that also helps to increase the complexity and sort of concentrate those flavors down. You know, you're volatilizing some of the liquid, but all the solid material stays in there, so it's kind of a way that it concentrates the flavors down. 